setting up your power drawbar, or your BT30 just isn't releasing right, we're gonna take a look at the BT30 power drawbar to make sure that it releases your tool and gives you reliable tool changes. Your BT30 has a different mechanism than our traditional TTS. It uses a pedal style to grab onto the pull stud and pull in making contact on the tapered surface of the tool. This means that it doesn't require as much clamping force as our old TTS, but should release the tool extremely easy without any extra effort. If your BT30 isn't releasing the tool like that, we have to take a look at a couple of different locations to make sure that nothing has moved over time. To start off, we really wanna look at this gap between the power drawbar flange and the power drawbar base. We don't want it contacting, but we do wanna make sure that it's as close as possible. As you can see, when you press the button, that's the first thing that contacts, making sure that you can compress the Belleville spring stack and then release your tool. If that is adjusted correctly, then we wanna look at the power drawbar bolt and make sure that it has an appropriate gap between the actual power drawbar itself. Again, we wanna make sure that there's enough clearance for it to continue to spree freely, but we do want this to be as close as possible, again, without contact. If you need to adjust either of those gaps, it can be done in two separate locations. If you find that the power drawbar flange and base are a little too far apart, feel free to use some washers or shims underneath of it using the pin and the shoulder bolt to keep them in place. After you raise that up, you now might see that the top has a slightly larger gap. Simply loosen the jam nut on the top and lower that bolt down, securing it when you're all set and done. Once done, you should be able to put the tool in and release it without any issues. Some of you might be getting a new MX and realizing that the power drawbar actually only has two pistons. Don't worry, this is normal. This has been a change to increase the stroke length to increase the reliability of the tool change. But if you're still running into some issues and the tool seems to be sticking, you can go to your power drawbar and loosen the bolt that's protruding from the bottom. Set this and get this down closer to the drawbar and then if needed, go ahead and grab an M16 by one and a half nut and use it as a jam nut. If you're struggling to find an M16 by one and a half, give us a call or shoot us an email and we'd be happy to walk you through the process and get you exactly what you need so your machine can be running reliably.